Welcome to the Health for Healing channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Have you ever scrutinized your diet and wondered if you're consuming too many carbs? If this question has ever crossed your mind, then you're not alone. In the world of nutrition, carbohydrates, or carbs as they're commonly known, play a significant role. They serve as a primary energy source for our bodies, fueling everything from brain function to physical activity. But not all carbs are created equal, and an excessive intake of the wrong kind can lead to some health issues. This brings us to the concept of a no-carb diet, a dietary approach that seeks to eliminate all sources of carbohydrates. Some individuals adopt this diet to lose weight, manage certain health conditions, or simply to experiment with how their bodies respond to such a change. So we've established that a no-carb diet involves eliminating all sources of carbohydrates from your diet. But what does this mean in practice? Now that you have a basic understanding of what a no-carb diet is, let's delve into the benefits and potential risks that come with this dietary approach. First, let's talk about the potential benefits. One of the most talked about advantages of a no-carb diet is the possibility of weight loss. The idea here is that by depleting your body's carbohydrate stores, you force it to burn fat for energy, which can lead to weight loss. This can be particularly beneficial for individuals who have struggled with weight management. A no-carb diet may also improve blood sugar control. This is especially relevant for people with type 2 diabetes, where blood sugar levels can be a constant concern. By removing carbs from the diet, you're removing the primary source of blood sugar, which can help to stabilize these levels. Another possible benefit is increased energy. Some people report feeling more energetic on a no-carb diet. This could be due to the body becoming more efficient at burning fat for fuel, or perhaps from the elimination of the energy crashes that can come from consuming high-carb sugary foods. However, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. There are potential risks to consider with a no-carb diet. One major concern is nutrient deficiencies. Carbohydrates are found in many nutrient-dense foods, including fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. Eliminating these can risk missing out on essential vitamins, minerals, and fiber. There's also the potential for an increased heart disease risk. Some no-carb diets are high in saturated fats, which, if consumed excessively, can raise cholesterol levels and potentially increase the risk of heart disease. Finally, let's not forget about the potential side effects. Some people may experience fatigue, constipation, or mood changes when they cut out carbs. This is often referred to as the low-carb flu, and while it usually subsides after a few days or weeks, it can be uncomfortable. As you can see, while a no-carb diet can offer some benefits, it also comes with potential risks that you need to consider. So, what exactly can you eat on a no-carb diet? I'm glad you asked. In a no-carb diet, your plate is filled with foods that are naturally devoid of carbohydrates, this includes a wide variety of proteins such as meats. Think beef, poultry, pork, and lamb. You can also enjoy a plethora of seafood like salmon, tuna, and shrimp. And let's not forget about eggs. They're a no-carb diet staple. Dairy isn't completely off the table either. Certain cheeses, like cheddar and mozzarella, are low enough in carbs to be included. And when it comes to fats, oils such as olive, coconut, and avocado oil are your best friends. However, it's crucial to remember what to avoid. This includes high-carb foods such as grains, fruits, vegetables, and legumes. Yes, even healthy foods can be high in carbs. While the food options may seem limited, many people find they can still enjoy a variety of tasty meals on a no-carb diet. You might be wondering, how does a no-carb diet compare to a ketogenic or keto diet? Well, let's set the record straight. Both of these diets do limit your carb intake, but they approach it in different ways. A ketogenic diet, often known simply as keto, is high in fats, moderate in proteins, and low in carbs. It typically allows for 20 to 50 grams of carbs per day, which is about 5 to 10% of total daily calories. The goal here is to get your body into a state of ketosis, where it's burning fat for energy instead of carbohydrates. On the other hand, a no-carb diet is exactly what it sounds like, zero carbs. It eliminates all sources of carbs, focusing instead on proteins and fats. This diet is more restrictive, and it's typically used for short-term weight loss or specific health goals. So while there are similarities between a no-carb and keto diet, there are also key differences to keep in mind. Thank you for watching the Health for Healing channel. Be sure to hit that subscribe button.